one of the dreaded text messages I get is when a customer sends me a picture of their yard and it's got brown spots in the yard. And oftentimes the customer just wants to know, but sometimes they want to know, hey, is this something you did or something else going on my lawn? They're really trying to figure it out. Well, in this video, I want to share with you a story about a customer's lawn that had brown spots in it. I want to tell you exactly how I handled it, tell you the outcome, and tell you about the process of how to figure out what is causing the brown spots in your yard. So let me get to the story. I had a customer that's been a customer for a long time, a great customer, somebody I've known for a long time, and they sent me pictures of their lawn and it had some brown spots in it. Because I know this customer, I didn't think that it was coming at me in an accusatory manner, but they genuinely just want to know, hey, what's going on in my yard? I've got some brown spots. Can you please help me figure out what's going on in the lawn? At this point, as a lawn care professional, I think it's part of my job to help figure this out, but it's not always so easy. But let's talk about some of the possibilities and some of the diagnostic questions you can ask to help figure out what's going on in the lawn to make it brown. Before I do that, let me show you some pictures of the yard that I was sent so that you'll see what I was looking at. Now I'm not an attorney and I don't play one on YouTube, but I do think some good advice and when you first get the picture, whether you're being accused of something or not accused, like I wasn't being accused in this situation, but, but you want to start off by first not admitting fault. And it also, I would say, to add to that, and a lawyer may disagree with me on this, but don't deny fault either. Let's just generally take an open-minded approach to it and let's try to figure it out. Let's think through some possibilities of what might make a yard brown. One of the things you want to take into consideration is what time of year is it, obviously what kind of grass you're dealing with, things like that, just some basic knowledge. This particular yard is primarily Bermuda, but it has some sections of zoysia in it, so it's kind of a mixed yard, and the backyard has even got uh, centipede grass as well. So I started asking questions like, when was the last time the grass was mowed? And that gives me some information because if they say we cut it um, yesterday, but before that it was cut two weeks before, a lot of times on these warm season grasses when they're growing really fast, probably the same with cool season grasses in a lot of ways, but if they're growing really fast, you're only mowing every two weeks, you may take a good bit off of the grass, which is gonna really stun it and it can even make large brown sections in the lawn. In this particular situation, I had sprayed the yard about five days before I got the pictures and the grass had not been mowed since I sprayed the yard. So I knew when I was there five days ago, the grass was green, but now five days later, it's got some brown spots and it had not been cut since then. And so that kind of ruled out that it came from any kind of mowing. Oftentimes you see damage from the lawnmower, it'll look like this where you can actually see brown streaks in the lawn and you can see linear lines. Lawnmower's making linear lines. If you've got some real odd shapes like that, as my friend James liked to remind me, insects and diseases don't draw straight lines. So you can see very straight linear lines here. So this was done from a lawnmower with a little bit of uneven cut. Well, what else could cause brown spots this time of year? Well, well, last year we had some colossal pandemic of armyworms and you're thinking, is armyworms all over your yard? Well, typically they like Bermuda grass a lot more than they do zoysia grass and they're typically gonna do a lot of damage. And to be honest, I ain't seen armyworm all year long where last year they were everywhere and so many calls for armyworms. I did not think it was armyworms by looking at it. Other insects that can cause damage. Chinch bugs is a pest and so I asked somebody, I said, hey, does this look like chinch bug damage? And he explained to me, he said, no, usually chinch bugs is gonna have a brown spot in the middle and it'll kind of fade out as it goes further out. And so we didn't think that was chinch bugs. Chinch bug damage, in my understanding, will look like drought damage, but when you know you've had plenty of rain. We've actually had plenty of rain lately and it had some brown spots. And again, I wasn't looking at it in person, just looking at it in pictures. And the yard was about 30 minutes away, so one I could just ride over there real quick and check it out in person on that particular day. You'll notice as I'm thinking through things in my mind here, I'm not, again, admitting fault, but I'm not denying fault either. I'm genuinely trying to work through a mental checklist to see what may have caused the damage. I've already mentioned that we had plenty of rain, so I don't think it's just drought damage because oftentimes a yard that has Bermuda and zoysia, if you go through a dry period, the zoysia will turn brown sooner than the Bermuda grass. It's not quite as drought tolerant. Another diagnostic thing I did was to find some people whose yards I sprayed on the same day or the day before with the same mix and asked them, hey, have you noticed any discoloration in your grass? So I sent that message to three different people Two of the three said no, no discoloration that I've noticed. 
The other one said, I have seen a little bit of discoloration. And after a while, it kind of hit me. The person that said, yes, I have seen some discoloration, also has a little bit of zoysia grass mixed in with the Bermuda. And most of the damage done in this particular photograph that we showed you earlier was to the zoysia grass. So at this point, I'm running out of options and it's coming to me that this actually could be something I've damaged. Now I take careful precautions of what I'm applying on the yard and I try to lean a little bit actually on the cautious side because I don't like getting these messages. But as the more I thought about it, and I talked with a friend of mine and he was talking about what we sprayed on the yard. I'm gonna tell you what I sprayed and what I did differently and went a little bit away from my normal standards. And I think this is where I got burned. And I'll go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. It's some damage that I did to the lawn, most likely. And one other thing to consider is, oftentimes it may have multiple factors that can contribute to the damage. So yes, maybe the herbicide damaged it, but you've also had dry weather. Or maybe the herbicide damaged it, but they also need to improve their mowing frequency. You know, so don't rule out that there might be multiple factors. But in this situation, I think the damage was primarily caused by the herbicide. So what are I spraying? Well, in the summertime, often I'm using Celsius and Certainty mixed together and trying to hit the nut sage, the spurge, chamber bitter, just whatever weeds are popping up in the lawn. But in this situation, on some of the larger properties, I had some nut sedge, had some Kalinga, had some of these broadleaf weeds. I decided to use my ride on spreader sprayer. And so the combination I use is a quarter ounce of Metzulfuron, which is a very low rate of that. I don't think that caused any damage. The other thing I used was 12 ounces of change up, which is a very, very low rate of change up, even below the labeled rate. Those two products together do a great job on knocking out some broadleaf weeds. But I decided to do one more thing because I thought, you know what, if I spray over the yard with those two products, it's really not gonna do anything for the sedges. So I put in there about eight ounces of dismiss per acre, which certain times of the year would have been fine. You guys say, well, why'd you do that? Well, I thought that combination would get pretty much any yard in the weed and be not too expensive of a combination. But I think the last one was the one that got me was the dismiss and possibly the change up. Now, the reason I even felt confident doing this was because we'd had plenty of rain, yards are green, and we've had an extremely mild weather lately. So I thought, you know what? We have talking about low temperatures for this time of year in the summer, we're talking about plenty of rain. I believe I can get away with spraying some of these herbicides that I probably would not dare do if the weather was hotter and had been drier weather. Not only that, I sprayed this yard early in the morning so it was not hot at all at the time of the application. As this became an important lesson to me, low volume that I was spraying at, just a quart per thousand, oftentimes can make it more likely that the grass is gonna experience burn. And zoysia has once again proven to be not as tolerant of these herbicides as the Bermuda. So I think on my Bermuda yards, which is mostly what I deal with, it was fine. This yard was mostly Bermuda. And I even made a conscious effort in some ways to not spray the zoysia area but I think I got a little bit careless and sprayed some of the zoysia grass and I think that's why I got burned so the Bermuda had very little damage if anything probably be turning green in a day or two the zoysia was a little bit more noticeable damage At that point you just explain to the customer what happened I did I, I talked to her on the phone and said listen I'm so sorry about this I I uh, mixed in a product that I don't normally use, but I thought I could uh, do it because of the cooler temperature and the rain, and obviously it's caused some damage to your yard. And then you start talking about the solution. The good news is this damage is going to be temporary, so I just want you to know that it should start recovering pretty soon. Then I also talked to her about what I was gonna do financially to make up for this and not try to avoid the blame, not try to make excuses, but you take the blame. You know what happened? The customer is extremely reasonable. I'm not worried about the money. I just want to make sure it's not something that's uh, getting worse and worse and worse. You know, the other thing we didn't even talk about is fungus and things like that. Uh, they can also make brown spots in the yard. So this particular customer had a, a different issue in the lawn that they wanted to address. I said, well, I'll tell you what, let me take care of that for you for free. I just, again, apologize for the mistake and this will be a learning lesson for me. But I hope watching this video, you can take it a few ways. You can say, oh, Jason, what wow careless of you to do that or or you can learn from what i did you know it's a lesson for me to try to kind of push the envelope a little bit spray something that was fine on the bermuda grass but really 
uh, did a little bit of damage to the Zoysia. It doesn't look good. And as a professional, I need to learn from that. I need to make a mental note of that, and it needs to not happen again. So, so fortunately, I got away with just minor little temporary burn. I was able to salvage the relationship with the customer. And I think sometimes when you admit what you did wrong, you might even strengthen the relationship with the customer because I think she has confidence in me. She's been taking care of her yard for about seven years. I've learned from this mistake, and then next year, I'll make sure not to do it again. And the other thing I did was follow up with her about a week later, and I just put in a question for and say hey I was just checking to see if the brown spots in your yard if they were looking the same looking better looking worse and wanted her to be able to have the freedom to respond to that love to hear from you guys who had similar stories I hope this is encouraging to you you can learn from my mistakes try to share the good the bad and the ugly on here I appreciate you watching I'm, I'm Jason Crell been on YouTube since 2011 got almost a thousand videos maybe over a thousand I don't know I encourage you to subscribe you can also go lawncarelife.com there's a lot of resources for weed control fertilization and also mowing mosquito spraying all at lawncarelife.com you guys will hang around and watch another video see you then